All right, guys, good to see y'all again. Coach Aaron here uh, with the guys that all just fought last weekend, fresh out of Nogi, at least. Well, I am. Theo Theo is actually fresh. He changed out. You, you wouldn't know. know he just did Nogi. <laughs> Deacon also changed. I guess I, I didn't change out, but uh, yeah. Hey, there's All no right. shame in the game. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, Oscar, uh, I mean, <laughs> wasn't in jujitsu class today Maybe. or the last uh, two weeks. Uh, same with uh, Gabe. Oh, okay. I don't think, I don't think we, the message from last time really, yeah. really yeah. came across. Go watch that. Yeah. All right. So uh, we are here to talk about. We're gonna recap Bayou Fighting Championship. Uh, the good, the bad, the great, the ugly. And uh, now we're actually gonna open right up with, uh, for one, nobody looks terrible. Wow. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, not not terrible from the fight. Mm. You know how you were, you know, born Steve. and how you spread yourself <laughs> is is all on you. But but uh, uh, no major injuries first and foremost, right? And uh, any of your opponents, everybody walked away from the fight. As you know, you didn't really <laughs> check on your guy. Well, but I, I, I checked on him later on tonight. He was okay. already a little, yeah. little something on Okay, he had a little, okay. But, but nothing major. Nothing right. major. Yeah, he's fight. good. He's good. So now let's, uh, you know, let's disclose how the training camp went. Were there any, uh, any bumps, bruises, issues that, you know, kind of hindered the camp? Or was everybody just real good? Some of you guys had eight weeks of a camp. Some of you guys, we... We, we popped it in there, three, four weeks notice, two weeks notice. So uh, tell me, you know, what, what went well in the training camp? What challenges did you have? Uh, what changes would you make before your next fight? All right. Uh, so regarding who had the longest time for their training camp? I think maybe me. I don't know. <laughs> maybe you and I. All right, I don't we'll know. open it up with you then, Deacon. How did, how did camp go preparation-wise? Um, so there wasn't really... I didn't really change my camp to adjust to my opponent, really. I just kind of trained the way that I was for however long before that. I didn't really make any changes, uh, but I didn't find any issues or anything like that. Uh, next time, I definitely want to focus more on how I can do better than my opponent rather than just kind of going and training how I would normally mm. train. So other than that, I, I didn't find much. Yeah. Uh a little bit of film study and because yeah. because it was a close fight right and and sometimes that strategy really does make the uh yeah. you know the difference so uh, okay uh who's next theo yeah sure um well for for this camp you know we, we kind of had that dark cloud <laughs> over my head for a little bit yeah uh so i felt like i've been kind of planning to of fight camp. for a while Plan but but didn't have an opponent for, until probably 10 days out, something yeah, like something that? something like that. So um, that was kind of an adjustment. You couldn't find anything on the guy. It was his uh, debut. Uh, a couple of just bumps and bruises that, that we had to heal through for the fight, like rib-wise and, mm. and whatnot. But uh, for the most part, you know, it was, it was relatively smooth. How the heck you're going? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, man, look. Look, when, when, when you're preparing for fights for, for so long, you got to – sometimes you got to put yourself on a little bubble for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you had a couple of eye, couple of eye scratches. Eye issues and, before. We had to yeah. wear headgear for for most of sparring for a few weeks out of there just yeah. to make sure, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't scuff we didn't anything, have anything up too yeah. close to the, to the fight. Got to look so, pretty, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That too. That's uh, it. Oscar? Um – you did, you did a smoker event yeah, the week before, right? Yeah. <laughs> you said, let's go. Yeah, yeah. but you texted me, I don't know how long before, I think like a week and a half before the fight, yeah. or something like that, and a uh, week before I was coming back from the beach, but I was already training for a while, but I haven't competed since like last Rumble night, but still the smoker, but um, I didn't really change any camp, I came to sparring usually, came, I, I, some days I miss Muay Thai, because I ended up going to the beach. Miss Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And then, uh, but of course, they got the buffet, oh, and then awesome. the, uh -huh. two times the lobster because it's all included. So mm. then I come Dude, back to fight week, and you're like, man, I, yeah. not only I gotta cut all this yeah. weight, but I, I, it's harder because I'm carrying all this weight, and I've been, you know, I've been not not drinking, drinking, but like eating some <laughs> at some will, some you know, like, it's like yeah. Some so some it's now. a little, yeah, I can understand, you know. Yeah, but I, I didn't really affect. I did affect me, but it's, it's okay. I'm, oh. I really, I came to scrap. Yeah, you know, you came to scrap. Yeah, that's the yeah, whole yeah. point. Yo, Joe's both tired. Yeah. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Gabe? Um, like Oscar was saying, I came back from the beach. Yeah. At the beginning of 4th of July. It was, I think, uh, the 6th I got back or something. And, uh, showed up, practiced. Uh, was getting ready for the smoker. And that's when Tyler was like, hey, you're going to fight this guy on the uh, on the 30th. And so I was like, oh, okay. And uh, he told me, run a mile every day. And the first three days, brutal <laughs> with those three miles. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, my legs were like my legs were dead, but like I'm assuming the, you don't run. Well, you see, I I run. I, <laughs> yeah. I just like, didn't run. <laughs> Hold on. It was more like a I'm gonna run this day, and then like I'm gonna skip two days and then go run. You know, and he's cool. like, nah, fam, look, just run all 17 days. I was like, okay, okay, okay. I uh, did that. Even. Showed up to practice every day. Kind of skipped the gym. I'm not gonna lie, like. For the weight, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I would rather be too much before. The yeah, right, 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 right. Don't want to look too slow. Yeah. And um, I would rather be sharper than have a little bit of power, you know. And, sure. Yeah, show okay. it up, and that was about it. All right, uh, Jonas. Did you go to the gym uh, yeah. to the beach too? <laughs> <laughs> no, like everybody went to the beach. No, I didn't get no invites. Sure. I went to yeah. the beach after. That's why. Oh, okay. oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so that, I'd actually been the one about to fight for a, a few months. Well, nothing was official then. I didn't even think I was gonna fight. It just, I mean, yeah. They said they're gonna try and get a EU showcase on there. Nothing was official for the mm -hmm. for a long time. Yeah, big question marks across it for a yeah, while. Yeah. Then I think I was like two weeks before the fight. I was told I was gonna have to fight Foster. I think, and um. Yeah, I, I didn't think I was going to have to cut any weight, but I mean, I was like 117, had to make 110, so I mean, I was kind of worried about that. So, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, we, we leading into the weight cut of everything, yeah, like, mm -hmm. we'll start with Jonas, we, we, we Jonas walked around at 117, we had to get to 110 was the was the agreed upon weight, and as a 117 pounder, that's that's almost 10, you know, uh, yeah, almost 10% of your body weight, you know, just to, just to do that, so, which is not bad. You know, not uncommon for a professional fighter to do, but for a 15 or 13 year old, that's that's significant for your first weight cut. Uh, but Jonas is super disciplined, been wrestling a lot, and and stays in shape. And I, I knew that if we probably just made sure we're drinking enough water, didn't you know, skipped a couple of days of carbs, we'd uh, we'd get it done. And you came in underweight. Yeah, I think I was like bit. I think I was like 108. Their scales might have been a little lighter though, because I mean, yeah, I was. 109 when I left the house for weigh-ins. Yeah. So how, how was it your first, like, weight cut week, like, water loading, and then, you know, kind of, was it a different diet than what you used? I'm sure you eat pretty clean mm -hmm. anyway, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, usually, like I said, I, I mean, the most weight I've ever cut, I think, might be, might have been, like, four pounds or something, so, but yeah, I'm used to the clean eating. The water loading was a little bit different, because, I mean, in the morning, I'd be thirsty. I'd drink the first half gallon easy, but then, it was, like, hard to drink water the rest of the All day. Right. Yeah, you wouldn't imagine it would be, but but after a little while, it gets tough. All right. Um, okay. So uh, so regarding the weight cut, was it was it uh did anybody have issues with the weight cut? Was it pretty smooth? How did you refuel after? You know, how did you feel in the next twenty four hours and then going into fight day? Are there any things that we would need to address going forwards? Theo was super light, right? You were yeah, I was one sixty walking around at one seventy. You know, two weeks, almost, almost yeah. two weeks out. It was, you know, it was uh, interesting just because my weight fluctuates so much. So I, I usually walk around probably between like 185, 190. But because I've been, you know, there's always been like a fight on the horizon for a while. I've been, I was staying around like 180. So fight week, probably uh, fight week, and you know, the week before, I was anywhere at any given day, either 170 or 178. <laughs> so it'd be 170 one day, 178 the next day. 
So it was a, kind of a big fluctuation. Uh, ended up weighing in at 167. So I think that I probably could have, you know, had like something to drink or something like that that day and not killed myself as much. But what you're going to do, you, you kind of have to think about their scale as opposed to like the scale that, that you're usually standing on. So you yep. want to be able to kind of. But Theo wants a 165 pound weight class. That'd be awesome. For sure. Yeah, that'd, that'd, be, awesome. that'd be nice. Uh, all right. Anybody else have you, you yeah. made? So you did have a little bit of weight to oh, to, oh, to get oh, down oh, there, but oh, oh, yes. you got oh, there, yes. right? Yeah, no, <laughs> oh yeah, the miles a day. The yeah, miles, no, yeah. yeah, no. Uh, when Tyler told me about it, he was like, "Well, how much you weigh?" And I was like, "Oh, like one one thirty six. I got on the scale that night. I was like one forty. I said, "Oof, okay." <laughs> and uh, he was like, pounds for your yeah, first weight cut." Yeah, yeah no, and uh, I was I, I wasn't eating all that good, especially like after that beach, you know. I, Putting a little bit of weight mm-hmm. on and mm-hmm. eating some good food, you know. Sure. And man, it, he was like, Well, no, you're just gonna be eating that. And I was like, Oof. The boy eat oatmeal. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> oatmeal and, uh, and grilled right. chicken. <laughs> and Deacon, yours was at 150. Yeah. Uh, but you were, you were, you kind of hover around that, right? Yeah, uh, I actually ended up two pounds under. Yeah. So. And so the goal, we'll, we'll probably, you know, we look to rebook around the same weight. Yeah. But just lean out, put on some more muscle mass. Yeah, I definitely want to stay at 150, but uh, I just kind of want to lean out and yeah. like you said, rebuild that with muscle. Oscar, how, you, you didn't even have much to go, huh? Oh. Well, you had a little bit, right? <laughs> Seven pounds? No, oh, not even. I was probably like, that whole, that week, I was probably like 150 Sunday because I remember the smoker I had was crazy with the food. Oh my goodness. And uh, I, I don't know if I was aware of the I think I was aware of the, the fight coming up, but I was like, okay, let me chill out. But I don't know. I, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I remember I came in, I looked at Sunday, I was like, Ooh. But I remember I, that whole week I just cut out a lot of food. I, I had to hit the hot bath a couple of times. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. On what day? Uh, I did like, like, like a couple, like three nights, two nights in a row. <laughs> and I, ran, I had to run like. We need to address that. <laughs> I had to run it like a little bit. But um, so that it, it could it could have went way better, honestly. Yeah. But oh yeah, <laughs> but oh yeah, it didn't go that way. So I still did it though. Yeah, at the whole point. Is uh, it just me or like fight week? When you're like really being disciplined about your food, that's when everybody wants to bring mm-hmm. breakfast oh, yeah. to, uh, to, to work. work. And, you know, uh-huh. Oh, hey, let's go out for lunch mm-hmm. and, <laughs> and, and that, bro. That whole but week, it, it's the just whole, temptation the, the whole week. week at work, rough. usually like share food because everybody brings like abundant amount of food. So every day, like they're asking, bro, why you not eating, bro? I'm like, I, I can't eat right now. I got to make a certain way. And they're like, it don't make no sense, bro. You're going to be weak going into the fight if you're not eating. I'm like, mm-hmm. I can't well, eat right well. now, bro. Give me, give me like till tonight and then I'm going to be able to eat. Mm-hmm. But they always like pressure me to eat. He did three hot baths? <laughs> like, he's he's, like, still, he's still, still on that. Well, three. I know. But Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night? Something like that. With with the Epsom salt bath? No, just... <laughs> He's not even trying to. Uh-uh. <laughs> well, we could talk about this. You know, see, I'm not gonna run like five days a week because if I'm going in, my legs sore on fight day. That's still no good. He's not he, running he, the three yeah, miles. Yeah, he, yeah, said. Yeah. he said he's not doing jujitsu. He's not running the three miles. <laughs> <laughs> what you what you mean? <laughs> we we, 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 we building up the hot baths, no absence so He building up the cardio in the bath. How clean were you eating? Oscar. Uh, I was um I was eating, <laughs> I was eating pretty alright. Uh, like, right. Carbs, carbs or no eat, carbs? Uh, Breads, pastas? Uh, I wasn't I wasn't eating bread or pasta. I was eating like mostly like rice, beans, chicken. <laughs> 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 rice is certainly a carbohydrate that uh, will hold okay. on to the, <laughs> to the water. Yeah, we learned uh, yeah, 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 I'm just trying to just trying to sort sort through this. Yeah. I don't know. it's not a cut some weight, like the only way I knew was Bath, run, sure, okay. fast, it's all day. Run. Yeah. So, so the way that most everybody else at the table did it was water loading, drinking more water. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> but but at the at the same time, uh, cutting out carbs because because carbs holds on binds to the water and 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 it holds on to it. But so when you cut out the carbs, you take in the water and then on the last day. When you stop taking in the water, it all flushes out of your system. So you, you, you cut out the carbs and you cut out 
the, the sweets and the salts. Mm -hmm. And then that. it all, you know, flush out. And, and I mean, and I mean, all of it, all the sweets and the sauce, because that's what holds the, the, the water, right? So, yeah. so next time, I, I personally try to avoid the bath uh, until the night, until like the last couple hours before, you know, that weight cut stretch because of how it does weaken the body, you know? And once you, uh, I, I put it at a temperature that'll get it sweating, bearable sweating, not making me red, and I let the salt do the work. That's why I was asking about the salt because the salt will draw the water out of the body as long as you're beating up sweating mm -hmm. and put some uh, um, sweet sweat on, something to help open up the pores, then it will, the, the salt will draw out the water as opposed to it just being so hot that you have to sweat it out. So yeah. uh, these things have, oh, I mean, I've, I've, cut a, I've cut a lot of weight a lot of times and it, I've only done them really, really well the last, you know, seven eight nine fights in my professional career you know so mm -hmm. but I, that's what i would i would i would i would hold off on the salt bath or on the on the bath until the day before <laughs> and then if, if I, you got to crush it if, if you've been doing it right hydrating right and not not carb not carving up not eating sweets or salts the water will be there to come off from the salt bath it'll come off in like five six seven pounds pretty quickly yeah because I, I was fast i usually fast all day and then eat at night but I would do the pot bath before I would eat. Because I wanted to get the weight off me as quick mm. as possible. I wanted, sure. I wanted to come in, like, you know, I wanted to be underweight a little bit before fight day so I can, you know, get hydrated at home. But, uh, yeah, I would fast all day. And, um, drink water all day. And eat that one meal. Okay. I was like, I'll fight week. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I so do one meal. How did, uh, the, yeah, how, did the, how did the fight actually go? How did we compare to our opponent? What are the results? You know, how did our, our opponents stack up to us in ability, size, stature, fight IQ, you know, stamina, et cetera? You know, so uh, give us the rundown of the fight and, uh, and then, you know, how we stacked up to our opponent or, or what we can do better. All right. Jonas? So, I mean, the, the fight went about how I expected. I mean, we're both grapplers. He's more jiu-jitsu. I'm more wrestling, though. Um, striking, it's about 50-50, so I mean, and like, a, yeah, I knew it was gonna, striking was going to be close, and it was close during the fight, but I knew I had a big advantage in the wrestling, so I mean, yeah, yeah, the striking was close, but then, yeah, I'd secure the fight with the wrestling, though, when I needed to. Mm, agreed. Uh, yeah, I, I knew Jonas would have a good grappling advantage over probably most people he goes against. One of the reasons we do this is to 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 expose you know our our skill set to everybody that shows up on fight night. So I wanted to see some kickboxing and to see what kind of what Foster had in kickboxing because we squared off and fought with Foster in wrestling and jujitsu. And uh, Jonas has come away with with some wins, but you know it's it's the people that can put it all together: the striking into the takedowns, into passing the guard and submissions that really, uh, you know, take their career places in MMA. So I wanted to see how we could blend that together. Foster did a good job on the stand-up. I'd say he was 50-52. We were throwing kicks, but I feel like Foster was throwing kicks with a little bit more pep, a little bit more intent. We were leaving ours out there a little bit, which is certainly things we can improve upon. Um, it, I wasn't ever in, in – felt we were in danger of getting taken down off of the kicks, but – but certainly uh, we can we can throw them a little bit. And we were talking with Deacon. It's, it's a little bit different when you can't throw punches to the face because right. a person can have their hands kind of here around their body and, like, block kicks easier or grab kick. When you only have the option to kick low or kick to the body, it's like, hmm, I'm going to reach down and grab your leg, you know, as opposed to doing a question mark kick and kicking somebody around or up the face or something like that. So, uh, But I think, we, I think we kept it interesting and showcased – a good bit of striking. Uh, the knees were good, um, and then and then we grappled to secure some rounds, and uh, and it ended up being a good uh, a good little scrap. I think it, it actually did what uh, what people wanted to see. So and, and and Foster showed good toughness too, and in, in battling through things. So uh, so I'm very happy with. It. We came away with the decision uh, win. All right. Um, yep. Anything you would you would uh, make an adjustment for for the next fight? 
Uh, I mean, yeah, like you said, faster strikes, letting my kicks go a little bit more, maybe a little more, com get more confident with my hands, because I mean, it's a little bit different when you're actually in there rather than training, because I mean. To all you keyboard warriors out yeah. there, Jonah <laughs> said, look, it's a little bit different when you're actually in there, all you keyboard warriors <laughs> behind Instagram. Right? I'm just that's kidding. Facts. But uh, yeah, that's a good true, way of putting true, it, right? True. So, all right, cool. Um, Theo, yeah. how'd it go down? Uh, so my, my guy was not 6'4", so the only information <laughs> that I really had uh, from, that I was able to find was that he was like 6'4". He was not 6'4", he was that's crazy. Like maybe six foot, uh, whatever. Um, I mean, I, I, the fight went well. It was a quick fight. Uh, I think it was like a minute and 30 seconds in the first round. It was a submission. So we, 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 I didn't we, see him tap. He, he no. broke, or I guess he just... <clears throat> he uh, kind of shook his, oh, shook okay. his head in, in the corner. Way. But, uh, you know, so when, when we're talking about that you know, purple belt, you know, that counts as a submission. Uh, so three submissions. Uh, <laughs> one via strike still count. Put that in the jujitsu column. That's, that's interesting. Uh, <laughs> well, we, we, we can talk about it later. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I think what I would, what I'd probably change is. I mean, Jonah said it. It's a little bit different when you're in there. It's been a little bit since I've been in there. Uh, I wasn't as, um, I'll say, tight or as crisp as as I would have wanted to be. Kind of looking back on it, I think I got a little um, over excited, a little overzealous at, at first. Um, but I mean, the outcome was, was yeah. what we were looking for. So, and, and this guy, our skill set was way better than this guy's skill set. Uh, but uh, but he was actually he was standing his ground and throwing some punches, and it's like, okay, this guy was, had some pent up energy and was kind of you know bowing up, and it's like anybody can throw a right hand clip and a left hook and, and <clears throat> clip you if you're not paying attention. So. Like I'm, I was hollering out like, stay, you know, patient, patient. Don't over pursue and you know get, uh, you know, something crazy happen. But uh, he had a great leg kick, swept him off his feet with it. Uh, and then I remember him taking like kind of a deep breath after like 70 seconds had passed. And I was like, all right, we now we can kind of encroach a little bit and, yeah. and uh, get in our range. And then and then once you tagged him with a few and, and it, you, you unloaded on them in a pretty fast, uh, pretty fast way. So uh, that was impressive too. So anyway, three and zero now. Three and zero. Jonas is one and zero in his MMA um, uh, youth MMA debut. Oscar, how did yours go, buddy? Um, I didn't win, but I didn't get like knocked out or anything, which is a good thing. But um, it was a good scrap. It was uh, we got caught in the clinch a lot. That keep that kept happening, but uh, uh, I think I could have done way better. Uh, I was a little sloppy towards third round. I got really sloppy. Um, first and second round, I could have done way more. But I don't know, like like Johnny said, it's a little different when you're in there. <laughs> but um, you know, I didn't have my cup in the first. First time. <laughs> not, like, not, not like they didn't ask 12 ask times. Before, before going, so make sure you out had there. your cup. And, and I'm walking, we had the first five fights, so I'm just rolling back and forth, back and forth. I checked some mouse pizzas, some mouse pizzas and some cups, and then by the time Oscar gets up there, I'm like, all right, we good, Vaseline, I'll go sit in the chair in the, in the corner, and then like, they're like, hey, 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 uh, uh, Oscar, your fighter's looking for you. I'm like, all right. He's like, coach. I don't have my cup. Or he goes, my cup. I was like, okay. I don't have my cup. <laughs> Oscar, what do you want me to do about that? And we're just talking to each other from the cage. Like, go get it. Like, they're, they're like, I, like, I ain't got one on me right now, Oscar. Like, I need you to walk down those stairs and go get it. And fortunately, we walked out first. So they pass each other up, Oscar and his opponent, going up and down the stairs. And uh, and then Oscar runs in the bag. They're introducing Drake out, and he's kind of you know doing his thing. And and then for, I guess I was pretty expedited on the on the comeback though. You must have just swoop swoop swoop. And then oh, yeah. you know I need one of those. It wasn't even a little pipe. You know just like yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I thought we was gonna hold up the show, but fortunately he just, he just by the time they they clapped for Drake, Oscar was back in his corner, and the show continued. So yeah, well, Oscar was struggling that day. I got in there. I was like. He was like, where's your cup? I was like, 
I, don't, I forgot to put it on. He was like, you need that cup. I was like, bro, I'm already in here. Let me, let me in here. He's like, I'm not letting you fight without that cup. And I was like, and then I went to the corner and talked to you. And I was like, you did the same thing. Because it's not like they tell us at the rules huh? meeting so you do the that same you thing need with your blood a mouthpiece and a cup. And it's like, Okay. Yeah, like, or or okay. explicitly not, at the end of that rules meeting, there's always one person that does it every card. Yeah, Don't be it's that guy. Crazy. Uh, I mean, it's, Oscar was I, that was, guy. I just remember the uh, back was was that guy. Like, what well, in the well, world? Don't, don't even worry about it because I forgot my mouthpiece going in. No. Huh? Oh yeah, so yeah. you had to run back and get it. No, no, it was in the bucket. I just had to. Oh okay. Had to go oh yeah, I get, I, I get yeah. Deacon's mouthpiece <laughs> through the cage. I mean, yeah, yeah. So and look, in our in our defense, we were the first. Five fights. So it's not like there was five, go back there, warm up Oscar. Hey, you got your mouthpiece. You got your, you, have, you feel it? Okay. It was just like, I'm out. I'm coming back. Like, I, y'all are warming up in the back. That's what you I was You know, doing. so. I was yeah. trying to warm up. Yeah. And, and then, then right. four of us is our debut. So, like. Yeah, so it's four of them's debut. So, <laughs> look, was it amateur hour? It was certainly amateur <laughs> hour, okay? <laughs> certainly, you know. But, yeah. yeah, and it was like, you got to be out before two fights before your fight. And I was like, Dude, I'm like, yeah, I'm trying to sit here and watch. I was getting, like, I was getting taped up. I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm right here, bro. Hold on, come on. I'm putting on everything. And then, <laughs> yeah, I walk out. I'm like, putting Oscar. Oh, yeah. I, I was a taping <laughs> machine that night. <laughs> uh, yeah. I left Oscar with one hand half wrapped, and I, I guess he got the, he got guy. it. Yeah, he yeah. came in and sewed it up at the end there. So, so all right. Uh, uh, Deacon, how did yours go? So, so to close out Oscar, Oscar had a, a tough, we, we knew it was a tough fight against a, a, a good wrestler, a good MMA guy. So it was a kickboxing fight um, for us. We wanted it to be at range. Drake is, 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 is a physical fighter, so it was a physical fight. He was clenching a lot uh, or closing the distance because we were winning southpaw from touch and parry and left hand, left kick. Uh, you know, both throwing some question mark kicks. It was a good technical battle, uh, but when Drake would close the, the distance and, and wear on us on the cage, uh, obviously, we got tired. He got tired too. Yeah, and you yeah. landed. What did you land? I landed. Kind of hurt him. Some body shot, or was it a kick to the body? Or uh... I landed like a couple of head kicks. Oh, landed. I think it was a knee. I was. I, I was. I was calling for that left knee so much because because he was coming. He was coming forward so much with the right hand, and we we drilled that right. Yeah, like I the morning up, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you oh, hit yeah. it, up, and like you hit it on the money, and I was like, this guy. That one landed. Like yeah, yeah. that one was money. We need it. We need a time. It's, it's there all day. Let's keep it going. Yeah, I talked so. to him afterwards. And he was like, "Yeah, you clipped me with a couple, like three things or something like that. Some of those turns." And I was like, "Yeah, I I not really noticed because I didn't really capitalize on that fight because I, I think I did damage. He told me I damaged him, but I didn't really sure. capitalize on those moments because I remember I teeped him on the ground and like I don't know. I, I remember I had the fight just like you know get back up. Yeah, gave him some space, but I didn't get right back on him. You know, I just took it like. A little slow pace, even though I could have brought it up more. Sure. But um, yeah, he pressured me a lot. And which, which, which is his. He's physical. That's how he wants to play, and, and he's obviously stronger than you. So, so yeah, that way, wears way wears us down a little bit. So a good fight, good technical yeah, fight, yeah. and I mean, it, it, we lost a decision. Um, but but I mean, uh, we knew it was a tough fight. And so I was really happy with the performance. Uh, Drake did a good job too. So all in all, I thought. Uh, that, uh, that's why that's why you got on you got a you got a poster post right mm -hmm. you and him you know before we talked about this last time because people thought it was gonna be a good a good fight you know yeah. so I guess it was a good fight yeah I have, it was a good scrap yeah Deacon how'd yours go it was good I unfortunately didn't win but I put on a show and I'm very proud of what I did like you had said it's a lot different going in not being able to strike to the head um, which I'm accustomed to mm -hmm. with all the sparring that we do. And um, I'm like going in, I knew the head was off limits, but just making that one adjustment doesn't make the game plan bulletproof. Cause every time I would go to kick to the body, he would just catch it and take me mm -hmm. down. And if I were to be able to strike to the head, I would have been able to set it up or do something else, work on pulling it back quicker. And, uh, but I, he didn't want the stand up. I said yeah. that. <laughs> we, we saw a little bit of his striking in, in, in that smoker event. And he was getting hit, you know, his head movement wasn't great. He was getting hit. Um, so, but when it came to fight, our fight night, the head's not involved, right? Yeah. So, and that's fine because it's youth MMA. I'm all for that. But like we said, their hands can be a little bit lower right. and it doesn't set that range precedence. A guy can just kind of keep walking forwards and, okay, I'll take some kicks or, you know. 
uh, he, you lit him up to the body, you know, because y'all were, y'all, it was it was like a clo- close fight a lot, right? Mm-hmm. And you were going cross hook, cross hook, and, and I thought you found his liver several times. You actually have a pretty good liver liver shot and a, and a hook low. You go watch the video, and I'm like, like that's the Instagram. combo. Like, <laughs> that's the combo. Cross hook low, cross hook low, cross hook low, Check you know? Out. So, uh, the right uh, yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot of highlights from, from, uh, from fights. There's a few more highlights that we still have to drop. But who's, who's highlights I got to drop? Oscar, Brasso. Yeah, y'all, th- y'all three are out already. So, uh, yeah. So, a lot of good, uh, good, good stuff to build off of. Deacons was a good fight. Uh, in the second round, we were, we were tired. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he was too. Right. Um, and then what, we got we got a leg caught and then taken down, and then how did he get he got on top of us from a, a kick grab going into round three? He did that multiple times. Yeah. In the in the third round, he had tripped me with a kick and then took my back, and yeah. that's how he won that round because he had yeah. that control. Yeah, for he took our back and was going for chokes like two. Yeah. Fully locked oh in no, I, I was there. I was like, <laughs> yeah, man, this is like two. he he was he was in. He had the figure four, and Deacon was pulling the hands and. You know, doing a good job of changing the direction of the lock, putting pressure on the lock, so the guy would have to. It was like just enough to to wear a guy's arms and 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 keep it uh stay in the fight. And so, which was which is why we do these things to see you know what happens under pressure. You know, and uh and so Deacon actually responded really well and 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 reverse position. It was only ten or fifteen seconds on the clock, but reverse position unloaded a little bit, and it's like all right, that's 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 not just accepting. A losing round it's like all right because in in the ufc or whatever like 10 15 seconds on top you can very well finish a fight you know like that that's enough time you know so uh fighting to the end is what is uh is what was important especially when you're tired you know so uh so yeah still a good performance uh uh we knew the rule set going in so that's 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 no big deal um but uh yeah good good, and gavin did good uh Mm -hmm. so yeah we, we we can we can we'll, we'll probably fight again uh, in October perhaps um, for youth MMA and uh, and Jonas is actually the guy that Jonas beat at the last Gamma uh, tournament is going to Abu Dhabi right like yeah he, won, yeah, he, he placed on the U S team qualifiers or whatever uh, either he wanted or he placed he. Whatever he did, I mean, he did enough to qualify sure. for Team USA. In the, and I saw it in the 14 and 15 year old division, and Jonas is 13, so it's like the guy's obviously at least slightly older than Jonas. Jonas beat the guy that was two, three months ago, something like that. Yeah, it was in March, I want to say. Okay, so uh, yeah, hmm. March, and then now the guy's, uh, I guess, you know, I'm sure improving and doing well, but but he got selected to the team to go to Abu Dhabi and uh, compete representing the the US. So. Uh, so I think we're going to Abu Dhabi next year. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's we'll be uh, we'll be we'll be we'll be chasing some uh, some youth titles and stuff. Uh, and I think we could. I think several people we could uh, we could end up a little squad going uh, going uh, overseas. So, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that could be cool. So uh, anyway, be on the lookout for that. When, when is that? When is that tournament that they're going to do in Abu Dhabi? Uh, I want to say. So it's like the. 16th or something, 16th through the 20th. I'm not, I don't know for sure, like but this month? yeah, it's this month. Oh. We'll keep our eyes on the results, check out some of the, the YouTube videos and stuff like that, see what's going on out there, all right? But I think the 13 year old division would have been in trouble. But anyway, uh, so uh, last one about the fight Brasso, how did your fight go, Gabriel Brasso? I say it went pretty good, you know. Could it have gone any better, Brasso? No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, I, this fight it meant a lot to me. I took it a little on Had a lot of people and, there, right? Oh, yeah. I don't know. It was almost Brasso. I had, what, are you related to some of these Cajuns out here, Brasso? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. A lot of them. <laughs> no, I had a, I had a bunch of people show up. A bunch of, hear a bunch, a bunch of. <laughs> yeah. I can hear it. And like when I walked out, I seen everybody. I was like, I better win. Oh yeah, that was a first. And like they had some, they had some baddies over there, and I was like, <laughs> some baddies, some, some fine females. And I was like, man, I, I can't lose it for I'm these, sorry. you know. And it's I'm like thirty-three. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what it means. And I, uh, man, I see Thanks. everybody. I was like, all right, yeah. that's a bit. You appreciated that definition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for spelling. Yeah, that yeah, no time, time to turn up. Okay, so yeah. I'm, so I'm what it yeah, is. Yeah, so so you landed. I think one of the one of the. The leg kicks were, were money, like, yeah, money, right? Uh, and you ended up dropping them with leg yeah, kicks. In the first round, when 
we touched up. Um, he threw a little leg kick. Uh, all right, whatever. Then I threw one and I seen like his face, and I was like, Ooh, okay. And uh, that's why it's important to check leg kicks. Yeah. Not, if you check one of them, all right, we got to go to. We got to go to, you know, all these other yeah. stuff. If you don't check one of them, it's like, oh, Weed. you mean yeah. I can get away with get away? Yeah, just that's, that? Just that's that one happened. move? for the, It's like, you know, and you, I was, you got to react to it. Uh, and then... Uh, we set up your right hand. We yeah. were we were getting a little uh, bloodlust for... Yeah, uh, right, going, and, and we that were first, approaching yeah, because just like, you know, Theo's got like, like, guys are dangerous for the first, mm -hmm. you know, two minutes of a fight. They're all jazzed up on adrenaline, like... You know, he wrote, and he touched us maybe maybe a couple times. That uh -huh. I was like, all right, let's like. And I you, you kind of evaded or right. rolled like a couple. I was like, that was kind of close right there. Yeah. Like, good thing we didn't get hit by yeah, it, you yeah, know. Yeah. And uh, he wasn't a, he wasn't a punk. We we had him out skilled, yeah. but uh, but he came showed up and uh, yeah. And eventually, you know, I said like, hey, you know, don't like ease back, ease back, set the range where we. Cause right. you were you were like hidden, trying to hit him with the right hand, like right here. But then when you straightened it out and kept mm -hmm. it at range, you ended up that, that, right in, down the in that, in that first round when when I kind of had him hurt and the, the crowd was like, ooh, you know, I was like, oh, I need to turn up. And then I got I got a little sloppy. And then I heard you and Tyler saying, it's gonna come mm -hmm. back off. And then sure enough, later in the round, I was hearing y'all needing the space for the right hand mm -hmm. and uh. I pieced him up with two two right hands. I did a uh, right hand jab, and then I clipped him with that right hand. Two pieces on the side. Right, right, right. right. And uh, no. then when I dropped him in round one, I was like, okay, this 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 is good. I heard the bell. What was the finishing sequence in two? Uh, in two, I dropped him three times. Uh, did that leg kick, and He's once got, I seen his leg starting to buckle, count. and uh. Cause when he when he would fall, he wouldn't take both the knees. So I probably could have got away with trying to end it right there. But I was like, all right, he's probably gonna end right here because he already had an eight count. Oh yeah, yeah. The rules were only one one standing eight count, and then uh, which that that part was interesting because yeah. like you dropped him multiple yeah, times. And, and cause it, and yeah, like, but it was from a leg kick, so it's like the, the point of the standing eight count is like so you don't you don't take damage. And then get back in there, just like the boxing thing. Like, like we're not. These are these are uh, amateur fights, so they're not paid. So it's like, all right, I'm not gonna keep sending my guy in there if we're just outmatched, you know. Uh, so, or I don't want to see. I don't want to see a guy also get you know get messed up right. the other guy. So, but they ended up getting we dropped them. But a bunch of times with leg kicks. So I didn't. Yeah. I didn't exactly know. Like, does that count as a? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know him, neither. So it's like you let him up. You you, you have to because his knee touches right, the ground. Right. Is that a? Is that yeah, a, and that's what I was thinking. Know, so there was no need to, to really. Like, technically, go I guess in. it was like not. It wasn't an eight. It was more like. All right, all right one, two, like yeah. You, all right, you're good. good. Are right, you uh -huh. hopping around? Okay, good. Like. And, and then, then I I dropped him again. I mean, not even 15 seconds after that, from the same leg kick, and I know that one hurt because mm -hmm. I I heard it. I was like, damn. And uh, they stood him up again, and I was like, all right, well, I kind of noticed he would, when I would land that leg kick, he would kind of duck off to the side. And I heard uh, Kim and uh, Darion in the in the other little corner, and they're like, throw that left hook. When, when, you, when you land that leg kick, throw the left hook. Okay. So I threw the leg kick and uh, threw the right hand, threw the jab, threw another right, and then I caught him with the left. And then he, he dropped out the eye. That's it. That's it. That's it. Cool. So yeah. midway yeah. through the second round or something like that? Nah, it was only 50 <laughs> seconds in uh, okay. the second round. TKO or, or you know, enough uh, scene. So, uh, yeah. yeah, good scrap. And, and we invited that guy to come train. I think he's out in Lake Charles nowadays. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe we'll see him. Uh, Keanu. Oh, yeah. Keanu. But no, he's a cool little cat. He came up to me after the fight. Yeah. You know? He was in the room with us. So pumped after. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> so pumped. Oh, yeah, no, like, like I said, I had so many people there. And I, was, I, I felt like I had to prove something to you. I had to prove something to my people. I had to prove. Because again, Gabe's taking place. some tough fights. Yeah, it, 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 a some lot tough of tough fights. fights, and it was finally like I was in my hometown. Right. And I was like, yeah, man, I can't, I can't together. look at the punk. It all came together. <laughs> so, uh, okay. Uh, very good, guys. Uh, anything I'm uh, anything I'm missing, or any, any last shout outs you want to make? Uh, you know, or, or do you, do we have a next fight on the horizon? I know Jonas and Deacon, and we're looking at October fifteenth in Morgan City right now. 
We have Rumble Night next weekend, all right? You doing Rumble Night, Rumble Night? No, I, I assume so. Yeah, next yeah, Saturday, no, all right? Uh, Deacon, you're doing it. Um, Theo, uh, you got too many fights now. Yeah. Um, I, might, I might be watching, though. Yeah. yeah. Come my, my, my come, yeah, come in and watch. Judge, yeah, cool. uh, special guest. See what's up. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah. Do you have anything la last things to, to say? Thanks for the support for the yeah, people that yeah, bought the yeah, tables yeah, and the tickets yeah. and the, the oh, paper yeah. views and uh, yeah, thanks for coming to support. You know, it was it was something to remember. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Like, subscribe. Check out their highlights on the uh, on the head kicks Instagram, headkicks.mma Instagram as well. Okay. Cool. We appreciate it. We'll see you at the next. Fightcast.